Hey everybody, welcome to my inspirational YouTube channel, Joy, broadcasting live from Florida. So I wanted to talk about when we clean our slate and we clean house and we remove certain things, certain situations, certain people. Oh wow, check out the little rainbow up there. Very, very cool. So when we remove certain things in our life, that's wonderful because we're getting rid of old energy and we're allowing new energy to find us. But what we need to really clarify and to be super aware of is the fact that if we do clean house and we remove certain energy, right, and we just leave it at that, you need to be sure that what you let in after that removal is aligned with your heart and your soul and it's positive energy. Because the last thing you want to do is end up in the same exact situation that you were prior to letting go of old energy. So you need to be super aware of who you're letting in your life. And not just people, right? Circumstances, situations, something that continues to repeat itself, that all has to go. And you really do need to learn to listen to your intuition because intuition is so important. It really is a barometer to guide you. If you feel uneasy around certain people or situations, that is a clue to keep moving. That is a clue that that person or that situation or that job or whatever it may be, maybe you're buying a house, that home is not for you, right? So be very aware and in tune with your feelings because your feelings guide you every single step of the way, regardless of anything. You need to get in touch with yourself and in touch with your higher self, which is your subconscious mind. And I don't know if you're aware of what that is, but your subconscious mind is your higher self. The mind that you deal with probably every single day, when you have the monkey brain and things going on over and over in your life and in your head, that is not your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind will reflect things in the now. You'll have a chance to go again and start again. The monkey brain mind, right? You're thinking when you're always rethinking situations over and over. Again, it's because the brain only focuses, the mind focuses on the past, your past data. So it's never going to recognize anything positive if your past data was negative. It's going to continue to reach and grab past stories. And if you're trying to get out from under that and you're not your past story, then you need to change your thoughts and change your surroundings. Because if you keep doing the same thing and if you're expecting results, that's insanity, you need to change it up. Change the way you think, change the way you feel, change everything. Once you change everything, everything will change. Thank you so much for tuning in and stopping by. Please hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. And check out the links in my bio for my Shopify and my Etsy store. I will be at the Art Ovation on September 8th in Sarasota from 10 to 4. Um, that was a new date because of the hurricane. So definitely come and check me out. And I will be at Scout and Molly's at a trunk show in Lakewood Ranch on the 21st of August from 10 to 5. Check me out there too. Thank you so much. Namaste.